Hey guys, it's Plain Swirl. And in this channel, I'm gonna teach you guys how to travel, eat, live like a local. What I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna do a $10 challenge for the grocery shopping. And I will go to local market and compare it to supermarket to see which one provide you more value, what are the pros and cons of each one. So stay tuned guys. <laughs> so we are here at Tiny Market with Brenda. Hi there. And today we're gonna do ten dollars challenge. So ten dollars today is around three hundred twenty baht, and we're gonna see what we can get with that money. Yes. Should we get lottery? I think this is the sweet. This is sour, I think. This is the best. I like them. This is not vegan because they use the fish sauce and the dried shrimp. Six baht. Wow. This is one of the best stalls. So they have a lot of cooked food and it costs like 30 baht per thing For healthy vegans, you eat good food Okay, this is pumpkin, it's 20 baht It's 3 for 20 It's all cooked and you don't need, to, you don't need a stove at all So we can have, let's get this Egg plants Egg plants So that's all about the food Many of them, there's one here, one there, one there, one there. In Northern Thailand, we use raw jackfruit yeah. to cook like a dish. Really nice organization going on, yeah. and also you can see the price. Oh, I need some. That's a hundred baht for two salads. And it's good stuff. 18 baht left. So yeah. we think we're gonna get some Chayen Hat. One more. Our salt. This is 40 baht for and, and this is 25. A whole lot of cooked veg for 57. Soybeans, coconut stuff. Yeah, it's coconut and sticky rice. It's good. It's good. And we got Thai tea. Just take my own bags. But we were so enthusiastic, so we forgot about that. So sorry, Thailand. This is what happens when you drink Thai tea. Look at my tongue.
it's like this lady selling broomstick. So before we explore the supermarket, let me tell you about the supermarket situation here in Thailand. In Thailand, we, I would categorize it in three categories. The first one is wholesale supermarket. The biggest player in this area is Macro. So this kind of supermarket, they tend to stay in a more remote area. So you have to drive to get to Macro. And they sell goods at wholesale price at a bulk quantity. So you have to buy a lot for that. It's like if you want to feed 10 people, yeah, you can do that. But most of the time you can't. The second one is budget supermarket, which include Tesco Lotus, Big C, and Max Value. These three mostly is the same in price and positioning. So they're targeting at normal people, middle class people, right? They're selling food and other stuff, and like almost everything, at a reasonable price, reasonable quality, including some ingredients for international food and imported goods. But if you want to find everything for um, international food, you have to go to a higher end supermarket. Some of the stuff, this budget supermarket, are going to be cheaper than a local market. So the last one is high-end supermarket, which include Villa Market, Rume Market, Top Supermarket, and Rimping in Chiang Mai. So this supermarket we sell, they have normal stuff as almost the same price as the budget supermarket, but they also have imported stuff and also higher quality stuff at a premium price. If you want to cook international food, you can go to this supermarket to get almost everything that you can find here in Thailand. If you just want to get normal stuff, like if you want to cook Thai food and get raw ingredients, mostly I recommend people to go to local market or budget supermarket. But if you cook international food, go to the higher end one and you can find almost everything. So in Thailand here, we have a lot of choices. Behind me is Tesco Lotus, which is like more local, cheaper kind of supermarket. Right over there, across the street, there's like Rimping, which is upper scale supermarket that has a lot of imported stuff for more expensive price. Right over there, across the street, there's also a local market which you can get like raw stuff for cheaper than supermarket sometimes. This is like a pack of apples. I like this one a lot, like the small yeah, these orange. Are these are It's a little bit cheaper than the one in the market. Russia sauce here. Two dollars for this small can. Make no sense. Soybean paste. This is Korean noodle. Indo noodle. Like Indonesian noodle. Cup noodle. In Thailand, we have lots and lots of flavors. Minced pork. This is like Tom Yam Kung. If you really broke, Pak Ka Pao. The basil stir fry. Also, you can get some international food. You can also get mac and cheese here. There's a lot of air. Yeah, air. <laughs> in Thai, we drink a lot of green tea. M&M's, Kit Kat. If you don't know that already, in Thailand, we can't drink water from the tap. So we have to buy a lot of bottled water, or we have to buy a machine that cleans the water. A whole lot of bottled water here. Today is in Thailand, so this is the original. No receive it. barbecue. This one is sour cream and onion. Mian kam is like you have 
a lot of feeling like this is dry shrimp, lamb juice, garlic, some chili. Put them into like a leaf and you eat it. That's me and Kam. Chef cheese and bacon, spicy smoky cheese, sweet basil. And this is two in one grilled prawn with seafood dipping. You want soy milk with the least amount of sugar? And then the blue one with the sesame. Almond milk here, yeah. walnut. walnut milk, brown rice milk. Thailand, we actually have coffee culture, especially here in Chiang Mai. Yeah. So people drink a lot of coffee here. All kinds of cereal here, Coca Crunch, Milo, Corn Flake. And I used to love this. This is my favorite when I was a kid. This is so expensive. The healthy one are quite expensive. I think it's we are a little bit over the budget. This is like a crab stick. Like, fake crab. Oh, what's this? This is like, we call it like an mm. ayoku. Yeah, the Dutch people will understand this. Ayoku. Pre cooked food. You get a whole chicken for around 140 baht. Thai food. Awesome. Green curry. Alright, guys. The moment of truth. Are we over the budget? I'm pretty sure we are over the budget. So that's actually not ten dollars, but ten euros. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> shading. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's Tesco. It's a shopping hall again. <laughs> carrots and uh, pears. I'm excited for them. Carrot is actually cheaper than in local market. Yeah. Yeah. So you you kind of have to like remember which one is cheaper when where. Most of the raw stuff are cheaper in local market, but some yeah. stuff some are like cheaper carrots. here. Yeah. Some oh, snacks, seaweed. seaweed. Banana with tamarind. Ketchup without any sugar. Ordinary like these things. Yay! And then Skippy. this kind of like con con cheese is like the rice porridge. Yeah, rice porridge with yeah. pumpkin. Cucumber? Dragon fruit. Yeah, dragon fruit was also cheaper than in the market. The watermelon. So this was under under 10 pounds. Big tamarind place. I wonder if it's really crispy. It smells like banana. Ooh. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, let's try. Mm. It's good. It is crispy, so yeah. I gotta say thumbs up for the crispiness. Hey guys, I mean, one of the coolest toilet I have ever been in any cafes here in Thailand. Look at this. Isn't it cool? Kind of cool, and they have music in here for some reason. I don't know. And here's my take on grocery shopping here in Thailand. For me, when I buy raw stuff like meat, vegetables, and fruit, I like to go to local market because I buy cheap stuff, and I also get to support local and small vendors. Some stuff that I know is cheaper in the supermarket. I'm gonna walk there and then get it. You know, because as I show you, it's just a walk away. If I want to cook international food like Mexican food, Italian food, I'm gonna go to high end supermarket because that's where I can find um, all kinds of cheese, all kinds of bread, uh, jalapeno, all kinds of fruit and vegetables that you can't find in local market. Some food that is not Thai food, not, not typical Thai food, okay? So you be the judge, do what you want. If you want the convenience to just go to one place, that's your choice. But if you want the cheapest deal, yeah, you can go to multiple ones to get what you want at lowest price. And thank you for watching. If you like the videos, please thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.